Hello and welcome to my video lecture on how to send data from a data entry, an, uh, an HTML data entry form uh, to a PHP form. Uh, so what we've been working on now uh, is an HTML application where we set up our index.html file. This is the index.html file and as you can see it's got a form in it with some uh, input elements. And as we go and we take a look at what it looks like in Firefox, this is what it looks like in Firefox. Some of this is based on uh, a cascading style sheet that I'm using for this. Uh, not important at this point. So what we want to do is we want to send data from uh, our inputs and send it to another file. So in order to do that, we're going to need some, uh, prefer to use some PHP to do that. So what I'm going to do is I created a PHP project. PHP project has a source file. Usually starts off with an index PHP. I've added a style sheet. Um, I'm going to click on this index.php file and I'm going to delete it. And what I want to do is I want to take this index.html file and I want to copy it and I want to put it into my PHP project. I want to close this one because that, what I was just looking at, was from the uh, HTML file. Then I'm going to be in the PHP project because I want to send the data from this data entry form to a PHP uh, form. <clears throat> the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change this form element. So this form element, I'm going to give it a name. Not necessary, uh, but good practice. So I'm going to call it uh, data entry, if I can remember how to spell. So the form is going to be data entry. Uh, then we're going to use uh, a method attribute. And the method attribute uh, is going to determine uh, how this data is being sent from this form to the next form. The first method we're going to use is the get method and then we're going to use an action uh, attribute and we're going to say what file is going to be displayed. So we're going to call that uh, just display.php and we'll create that file in just a minute. The next thing we need to do is we've got our inputs uh, we need one more input. We need an input button that's actually going to be submitted. And when that button gets submitted, um, this form is going to take this action by displaying this form and sending data using, the, using this method. So here we're going to start off with another input uh, element. Um, the input element uh, is going to have a type. These have type text. This has a type email. This is going to be a type submit. So we do is hit equals, type in the word submit. Uh, this also we can give a name. Uh, there are name uh, attributes for most elements. Uh, this one we can just call submit. That's fine. And then uh, we might want to give it a uh, value. And the value in this case might just be submit as well. Uh, that's basically the basically the default value. If it can't find anything else, it'll send submit to the form. So those are really the changes we would make to this form uh, to send data to another form. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our uh, project and we're going to create a new uh, PHP form. So here's our PHP, uh, our new form dialog box. It's going to be a PHP. It's going to be a PHP file. Um, we're going to click next. Uh, the file name should be display because that's what we want to that's what we want to call it. I'm going to click finish. Now here's our PHP file. Um, we're not going to get uh, too crazy into the code at this point, uh, so we're just going to really end this. So that's going to be our PHP file. Um, what we're going to do when we get to this form is we'll use uh, the get array actually display the data. So here we can simply use the get array. We're going to make a local variable. Uh, in this case we'll call it first name. And our local variable to this file is going to be using uh, data from the get array. So we're going to go to the get array. We use square brackets uh, to reference array elements. And we're going to use the string uh, index of first name to get the first name out of that uh, array. We can do this for the three elements, uh, the three data elements that we're going to be passing. Uh, 
we've got last name and we've got email. And then we'll just change the string index references so that it actually references the right, correct value. So what's going to happen is this is going to submit. <clears throat> it's going to the action is going to open up this file. It's going to set up the get array. The get array is going to be populated by values from these three named input sources, and we reference those three named input sources in this fashion, looking for uh, the get uh, array values. And then once we get them, we throw them into local variables. Um, not exactly sure what it doesn't like about that, but that's okay for now. Uh, I'm going to do a save all. Uh, and here what we might want to do is we might want to just do uh, a little echoing. And then it will echo out what's in our, uh, wow, can't type, uh, first name variable, then we'll echo what's in our, and echo is used simply to take uh, values and throw them up on the screen uh, in the page. Uh, you can use echo for all sorts of things. Uh, in this case, it's almost like debugging. So here we're going to echo out what we get in our first names. So I'm going to save all this. I'm going to go to my index.html file. I've already got it running here, so I'm going to refresh it, which is going to show us our submit button. Here I'm going to type in my name and then junk at junk.com. So now if I didn't do it correctly, if I hit the submit button, I would get an error. It's, um, oh, this is what I'm getting in my, my uh, PHP form, but that's okay. So here I'm just going to put in the .com. I'm going to click submit. And what you see here, I'm not going to worry so much about this, um, that right now we're getting the display PHP. You can see in the URL is really what's more important is up here in the URL I get the first name is equal to Mike, the last name is Devlin, and the email is junk at junk.com and then submit is going to equal to submit. So these are the values that are being sent uh, across to our PHP file. Um, and that's really the most important part of the, uh, the sending of data from one form to another. Uh, I just have to work out exactly why it doesn't like last name uh, and I'll work on that later.